Welcome to the rainforest, the tropical rainforest. This is also a tropical rainforest. They may look similar, but one is in Thailand and the other is in Guinea. Even though these rainforests are growing in distant and very different corners of the world, they're still part of the same biome. But what are biomes? It's time to shine a spotlight on biomes. Biomes are geographical areas with similar climate, plants, and animals. Let's take a look at these rainforests again. Make an observation. What do they have in common? You might have noticed that these two rainforests have similar plants, similar weather, and similar amounts of sunlight. Additionally, both of these rainforests in Thailand and in Guinea are made up of similar ecosystems. An ecosystem is all of the living factors, like groups of organisms, and non-living factors, like weather, that interact in an area. Think about the size of our planet. There are countless ecosystems across the globe. To better understand our world, scientists categorize areas on Earth with similar ecosystems into biomes. Biomes are geographical areas with similar climate, plants, and animals. Some of the Earth's main biomes are deserts, tundras, grasslands, temperate deciduous forests, tropical rainforests, and boreal forests. Biomes can span countries, oceans, and continents. Which is the correct organization from smallest to largest? Many groups of organisms are found in ecosystems, and many ecosystems make up biomes. But how can two places in different locations be part of the same biome? To answer that question, we can take a closer look at the tropical rainforest biome. One of the distinguishing factors of a biome is climate, or the weather and temperature patterns in an area. Here is a graph showing the monthly temperatures for our two rainforests in two different parts of the world. What do you notice about the average temperatures in both locations? Both locations have similar temperatures throughout the year. Hot. It's warm enough all year round for lots of different plants to grow. To see why, let's explore two other biomes. On this map, the locations of the grassland biome are highlighted. Where can the grassland biome be found? The grassland biome can be found on every continent except Antarctica. Grasslands, depending on the season, have a wide range of temperatures. They can get below freezing or hot enough to make you sweat. Next, we'll compare those temperatures to another biome, a temperate deciduous forest, a type of forest with trees that usually shed their leaves in the fall. Hmm, these two biomes have very similar temperature patterns. If we only relied on temperature data, a lot of biomes, even a tropical rainforest and a desert, might be lumped into the same category. But we can see that these areas are very different. Scientists rely on additional climate measurements, like rainfall, to categorize biomes. This graph compares the average annual rainfall in several biomes on Earth. Which biome has the most annual rainfall? Tropical rainforests have the most rainfall compared to all the other biomes on Earth. An area with lots of rainfall can support lots of plants that need lots of water. All tropical rainforests, whether in Africa, Asia, or another continent, have similar rainfall and, as we saw before, similar temperature patterns. But what about other biomes? Which has more rainfall, temperate deciduous forests or grasslands? there is more rainfall in temperate deciduous forests. This allows tall trees that need more water to grow in this biome. The grasses and shrubs of the grassland don't need as much rainfall. Different types of plants are food for different animals. So the type of plants in an area determines the kinds of animal species that can live there too. This leads to some very diverse biomes, like rainforests with the most rainfall or deserts and tundras with the least. Deserts and tundras both get fewer than 250 millimeters, or 10 inches, of rain a year. But deserts have annual temperatures that range from warm to very hot, where tundras can have temperatures that get well below freezing. Let's look at a combined temperature rainfall graph. Remember, the bars on the graph show rainfall, while the line on the graph shows average temperature. 
Which of these graphs most likely shows data from a desert biome? Graph A has much warmer temperatures than Graph B, so this data set most likely comes from a desert biome. Here, specialized plants are able to grow, ones that can survive in hot temperatures and don't need much water. The difference in plant species influences the animal species that can call this biome a home. Remember, places with similar climate, plants, and animals are categorized as part of the same biome even if they're found in completely different places on Earth. Now you've got the bright idea. Try explaining it in your own words. What are biomes? Here are the important takeaways about biomes. Biomes are geographical areas with similar climate, plants, and animals. Climate measurements like temperature and rainfall help scientists categorize biomes. And... In land biomes, including tropical rainforests, grasslands, and deserts, different species are able to survive due to differences in climate. This is a great start, but don't forget, there's always more to illuminate. What questions do you still have about biomes? This has been Spotlight on Biomes, and you've been brilliant!